LC Model Shipbuilding. In this episode, we're going to be uh, we're going to be putting our lifeboats onto Lusitania. Um, in the last episode, we were basically working on getting the funnel stays all put on, which they are all done now. Um, I got my whistles in, and you can see the front one on there. And we'll be uh, we'll actually be going through and putting the, the second one on in this video. But the funnel stays came out pretty nice. They are all metal, they are all mounted, and they are down. Um, the funnels are all painted up. We have to put the, uh, the caps on top yet. That hasn't been done. So we'll probably do that this episode. Um, so this episode mainly will be about funnels and, I'm sorry, lifeboats and, um, and uh, just finishing up the funnel work. I also worked on putting a lot of the railings on um, throughout the upper deck, so most of them are on, not 100% yet, but uh, getting close, and that's all photo etch. So I didn't really bother putting that so much into the video because uh, it really isn't all that exciting, um, and a lot of modelers have done photo etch before, but probably one of the later episodes when we do either the, uh, the poop deck area or the folk skull we will uh, we'll go over some of the photo etch, but there you can see the Veranda Cafe in there a little bit when it is lit up, which I'll do right now. You're able to see inside there. So that was back a couple episodes ago, but um, definitely a detail that I'm happy I spent the time to do. I uh, got a little bit of light bleeding up in here that I gotta address, so that will get fixed, but um, other than that, definitely like the way the ship is lighting up and uh, feel pretty good about how we are heading. Bridge lights are in blue. Got a lot of rigging line here for the uh, forecastle, but uh, we're getting there. Um, also, you can see where the LED, I'm sorry, the uh, fiber optics have been put in the hull and where they haven't yet up towards the front. So kind of a good example of that where you can see how the fiber optic really does the reflection. So right in here you can see them all nice and nice and bright and yellow and here you can barely see them. So I'll be continuing that. Still got quite a few to go. Um, also if you look down in there you can see a lot of people in the, uh, in the lower deck. So those details really came out nice. I'm, I'm really happy I spent the time effort to actually go down there and uh, put all the deck chairs that I did and um, all the people that are in there. It really just adds to the detail on the ship. So anyway, I'm going to change the camera angle and then uh, we will get into it. Okay, so here we are on the lifeboats. This one here is pretty much essentially done. Um, I'm using the Titanic uh, Photo Etch Brass. And I believe it was 1 400 scale or 1 350. I'm not positive what I ended up getting, but these, uh, these uh, lifelines or whatever you want to call them on the sides are just a little bit shy of the uh, length of the boat. So the Titanic boats were apparently a little bit shorter than these. Um, but in any case, I'm going to still use them because uh, they look better than the painting. Um, I tried to brush paint them. They're just not real user friendly at this point. So um, basically we're just going to continue to cut them out and uh, put them on. Um, so I'm going to take a spot here and cut. Weather has been starting to get nice, so I haven't been working on Lusitania quite as much as I was there uh, the past couple weeks. But um, I really don't think we have too many more videos to go. Um, I should be able to probably have this wrapped up in probably about two weeks, I'm guessing. And then uh, I saw a comment on the previous video that the sound did not come across on uh, the United States when I was showing that last uh last episode so um, the story is with that uh, that was a model that I had gotten 
probably, I don't know, 20 years ago, if not more, um, when I lived at my parents' house. And it stayed up in their attic for years and years and years after I obviously moved out. So um, this Christmas I was at home and uh, my dad had said that he found it up in the attic and uh, wanted to know if I wanted it. So yes, when I took a look at it, um, saw it was still in pretty decent shape. I mean, all the coloring obviously on this ship is completely wrong. Um, and there's not a lot of detail to that model, but we're going to, uh, what the plan is, we're going to completely strip it down, um, repaint the entire thing. Uh, we're going to use uh, photo etch brass on all of the railings and, um, and uh, basically get it back to looking like the United States uh, should look. So... And that is what the plan is on that, and that's going to be our next build. So um, that one really won't take that long, but uh, I'll be videoing it. I know it's an old Glencoe kit um, from the uh, from the. I believe it was actually originally made back in the late '50s, and then it was remade by several other manufacturers over the years. And uh, Glencoe was the last company that actually had produced it. Um, like I said, it's not a super detailed kit. I mean, it, it is really just one step up from uh, from a toy that you would buy. And actually, the ship was built, or the model was built, to be able to um, to put engines, well, motors, I guess you'd say motors, and, uh, and actually sail it. So people did that apparently at one point um, in the past with that model. So... We will not be doing that with that one, but um, if you stay tuned in the future, the 1200 scale Titanic that we're going to be building next winter, um, well, fall, will uh, that will have uh, radio control to it, and that's going to fully light up and smoke. But um, yeah, my. My short-term plans, like I said, finished Lusitania. That's got another probably two weeks or so to go on it. And then uh, after that, um, it'll start becoming summertime, so I won't be working on models quite as much during the summer. Um, I probably still will be doing quite a bit with them. I've really gotten back into it quite a bit from uh, where I was. But um, after the... Uh, after the... United States rebuild, I'm going to be um, taking the uh, model of the Constitution, uh, which I know is not an ocean liner, so we're going to kind of change it up a little bit, and uh, we're going to go after a tall ship. So that was another model that I had built many years ago, and um, it got destroyed over the years, but uh, got a new one, and um, yep, we're going to build it. So, there we go. First lifeboat is pretty much done. I may take a pen or even a Sharpie and put that last loop in there. Um, it really shouldn't be too visible, but I have a feeling that's going to annoy me if I don't do it. When I held it up against the lifeboat davit on the ship, the davit actually pretty much covers it, but uh, I don't know. I think I'm still going to be annoyed by it, so... I'll probably end up fixing it, but we'll make a decision as we go. Oh, the other thing I was going to show was the whistles. So here's the uh, 3D printed whistles that I got. Um, these are available in 1350 scale, mainly for the Titanic, but uh, it'll also fit perfectly fine on uh, Lusitania. Painted it up with some uh, brass paint and um, stuck it on, and they look great, but later, later on we'll do... Uh, We'll do this one here, too, and put it on the ship itself. So, in the meantime, I'm going to work on getting these nine boats um, uh, put together. First step, like I said, I think I showed it in the previous video. I was kind of bouncing all over the place in that video. But um, I used this uh, real thin styrene, and... Um, at 30 millimeters, it is exactly what we need for um, for the Lusitania boat, lifeboat, that is. 
and uh, basically just kind of dip it in some glue and get it stuck on here. Give it a minute to work with it because I'm using a gel super glue. Oh no. Oh bugger. I don't have my glasses on right now, so I think in a second I'm gonna pause here and go get my glasses because this is gonna be a struggle. covered it. Just might need a toothpick to uh, put in a little bit right there and fix that. All right, I will be back. Okay, I'm moving along with the lifeboats and uh, they're coming out good. I mean, I'm happy with them. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother with doing that extra line because the more I looked on it, the, uh, the davit will definitely cover it, so not really too big of a deal. But when you're doing these uh, little safety lines they would have been used for if a uh, person was overboard or whatever from the boat and they couldn't get onto the boat that they could at least hold on to it um, I found that doing it this way I can almost do it in assembly line fashion where I dip the glue on one side let it sit here for a second drop it on I come in with my little toothpick there, hold that down for a moment. Hopefully I'm not blocking the camera. And then bring a little bit on over here. Dip a little bit of glue in my little tool here. extra glue. Okay, that's set. So I'm just finding that kind of following this system has been really working nice and fairly quick. Um, a lot better than what I was doing initially. So again, just hold it there for a minute. Drop. Okay. Little dip. So I've got about four more of those to go, and then uh, we'll start putting the lifeboat davits on. All right, we're back again. Um, I have our lifeboat davits here. All of our lifeboats are done. And what we're going to do now is go ahead and install the lifeboat davits. Um, they only have two part numbers on these, so they're pretty easy. One faces forward, one faces uh, aft. So. Just going to do a little dip in the glue and the side of the superstructure here does have the marking for them already so that makes it pretty easy and there's a little um, little hole for it to go into so we're just getting that on there and alternate back and forth between between them Like I might have messed up my number. Okay, I want a little bit of glue 
right along the top here, I don't know how well you can see it, there's a little spot up there too. It doesn't have a hole, but uh, I'm adding some glue for it. One other thing I did along the uh, edge of the deck, I added a small piece of styrene just to kind of close in the gap. It was between the deck and the, the hull. This, uh, this ship, as you put it together, does not exactly fit the greatest when it comes to the decking um, down to the superstructure. So definitely took a little bit of maneuvering to get us there to the point that we're at. And it still really isn't perfect. Um, unfortunately, it's kind of a flaw in the design of how this, uh, how this model was built. So, word of warning to anybody that has not built this kit and is looking to build the kit, just be prepared. It, it takes quite a bit of maneuvering to get, to get it even close, really. And like I said, I'm still not exactly happy with it, but with what the kit is, it's pretty much the best that it's going to get from me anyway. There might be other people out there that, oh, you could have did it this way or that way. So I'm sure people will comment if there was, but I'm not really too worried about it. I'm happy with the ship overall. And, uh, average person that would come to my house and look at it never ever will be able to tell. Okay. Uh, I know why I have so many. I cut out the fronts too. I was thinking I only did the fore for the aft side, but I did not. styrene a little bit so I might have to build a little bit more glue there. I'm hoping the um, audio is a little bit better. I am actually running a microphone now so um, I'm hoping that makes a difference. that will happen as we get closer to wrapping this up um, I will have to go through the whole entire ship and just do some touch up painting between little glue marks here and there and little scratches that happen and when you put a piece on and there might be a little piece of plastic left and it didn't get hit with the airbrush so There'll probably be, I don't know if I'll probably, I probably won't do an episode on that. Maybe just some highlight spots to watch for, but um, that will be coming soon. I'm guessing probably really, maybe, probably two, maybe three more episodes to go on this build. But I have really enjoyed this build. It really is a good overall kit. I mean... It has its quirks, but pretty much every model kit that I've done has its own little quirks here and there. The biggest thing, like I've said before, that I wish um, 
one, I wish they'd re-release the kit, and two, I wish some of these uh, aftermarket companies would start doing some more for the Lusitania. It definitely would have been a much neater build having photo etch that is actually made for the kit. Um, that would have made a big difference in it. But I think for what it is, it's gonna it's gonna look the part and really not be bad. Once we get this last davit, last davit or two on, we'll cut the whistle for the third one, or for the second funnel back, and uh, put that on real quick. Like I said, that is 3D printed, so it's not photo etch, a little bit different than what we've been dealing with on most of this build so far. Now, and right now, if anybody's wondering, I'm just using standard uh, testers orange tube glue or plastic that is your best friend. When you're doing photo etch, the CA glue is more, more better, I guess, a better option. Another thing that will happen, there are little pieces of fence that were originally molded into the hull um, that I cut off when uh, before I even painted the hull, and they go in between the lifeboats. So we'll be adding those, and they go right there, and there, and there. So for that, I'm just going to take a small piece of railing and cut that. straight. Okay. All right. So here's the whistles. Like I said, they're already painted and ready to go. Generally, I would not snip with these on, uh, on 3D print, but they're uh, just Two, I'm sorry, three little support structures, I guess you would call them, that are there. So I feel okay doing it. All right. And it has the little stem left there. I got one right here I want to cut off, and then voila. Now, what I'm going to do, put that there. What the model came with was that little nubby thing right there that does not look at all like a whistle. So we're just simply going to cut that off and glue the uh, glue the 3D printed one right onto its spot there. Again, I'm just going to use the model glue for these. And we're going to set it right down on here. I do still have to cut a piece of photo etch for the ladder. Because this one does. No, no. Alright, we're going to use a tiny bit of CA glue with it just to promote it to stay up. Uh -oh. Let's just... All right, we'll try this again. A little bit of model glue and then a dip of CA. And 
of course it's stuck to the tweezer. Gotta be kidding me. It only happens when you're on video. Any other time it would go right on. There we go. All right, got our whistle and it looks straight. So there we go. Pretty happy with them. I think they're a nice little touch. They definitely look good. Oh, and it fell over. <laughs> it should stay. Just a touch of CA glue on there. Put a little CA stick. Okay. And straighten that out. Don't go that way. Crazy, the first one did not give me this much trouble. And so I figured, oh, I'll just put that one on the video. Okay, it's not moving. Oh, for now. All right, next up, we have the uh, top surface panels. They are already painted. We will have to do some touch-up once they get in there. After we do this, I'm going to put the little footers down for the lifeboats, which I'm also stealing from the Titanic kit. Um, not sure if they were actually there on Lusitania, but I have them, and uh, I think they're a nice little detail. Plus, they give the lifeboat something to sit on rather than just right on the deck flat. And then maybe we'll glue on a person or two had a request from a subscriber, Emma, asking to see some people get glued on, so we'll glue some people on, Emma. Alright, those are in. And there are little grills that go over these. Now on Lusitania, unlike Titanic, all four funnels were functional, so Titanic had a dead plate over its fourth funnel. Lusitania does not. Well, Titanic's fourth funnel was used mainly for kitchen exhaust and um, smoke room exhaust and whatnot, but I have to paint these up yet, but these uh, grill covers will go over the funnels once we do the touch-up painting on them, and, or on the caps here. So, let me go ahead and grab the lifeboat footers. I'll start putting them on. I'll probably put the photo etch for the uh, for the railing in between the boats a while, and then uh, then I'll be back and uh, we'll start laying some lifeboats down. Okay, we're back in action here. So um, these right along here are what I'm going to use for the uh, lifeboat footers. I don't know if you can see them real well, I'm trying to get it to focus, but I'm not sure if they actually are lifeboat footers, but for our purposes, they are going to be. So um, one thing I don't think I covered in previous videos was photo etch brass. You always want to run a primer on it. So this is Mr. Metal Primer, um, works pretty good. And I generally will just brush it on. So I'm going to take a little dab and go right over it. It just kind of helps the, uh, the paint adhere to it, stops a little bit of the chipping. 
because anybody that has worked with Photo Etch knows how prone to chipping it is. So I just figured I'd call that out real quick and uh, and throw it on the video real fast since I know I did not cover it in past videos. All right, we're gonna let that dry and then uh, we'll get it painted. Okay, up. we got the lifeboat footers painted up. I'm just letting them dry for a minute or two more and uh, we'll go ahead and install them. In the meantime, I did start installing the little fences between the uh, lifeboat davits. So to do that, I just basically cut down fence into one section, dip it in some glue, and we're putting it in between. And that actually works well because when I cut the top of the superstructure, it made a little bit of a divot there and from the side and even kind of above this will mask that pretty well i could have probably put a really tiny piece of decking in there but uh i don't think it's going to be that noticeable once these are on and installed and uh really you'd have to be looking very close to point that out all right, so I'll finish doing them and then we'll be putting some lifeboats on and uh, wrapping up the video. Okay, to make this even remotely accurate, um, just like Minecraft did with the Titanic, <coughs> the lifeboats have these stupid two holes that are supposed to have string or ropes put up onto the lifeboat davit. Well, that doesn't look real realistic, and uh, I don't know. The, the way they did this is not the best. So they have you just putting the lifeboat basically straight down on the deck, which that doesn't exactly work because it would sit back here. So originally, in the last segment there, I wanted to use the footers from Titanic, but unfortunately that won't work either because they would have to sit on the deck. So my only real solution are these two little strips of styrene. And I'm basically just going to... I glued them onto the deck and I'm just basically going to um, glue the bottom of the lifeboat onto these two strips to give it a little bit of an extra overhang. But putting those uh, strings in there does not make any sense whatsoever because the tan part of that lifeboat would be a canvas cover and the lifeboats would be connected right here with, uh, with rope that would go up to that. So I'm going to fill those holes in with paint and... I will run the strings across here, and then I will probably run a string down here. So let me grab some uh, some string, and then we'll see how that looks. Okay, so this seems like it's going to work and give me the effect that I'm going for. Um, as you can see here, I got the first line on. I got the first one across and down. I got one here and one here. And now I'm going to run a longer line right here. And I ended up using the same wire that I used on the uh, funnel stays. That actually seemed to work pretty well. And of course the clock would go off as usual. All right. So I'm actually using a little bit of this glue from the glue pen and this stuff is pretty cool this is a uv glue um i put a little bit down on there but just kind of demonstrate it so a little bit there a little bit there 
and we're going to put it here kind of let it hang for a minute and I'm going to have this crewman because I promised Emma that we'd put some people on so I got that little guy there can barely see him probably we're going to put a little bit of canopy glue on his feet and he's going to stand right here and hold that wire. So if they were just doing a lifeboat drill or something like that, they'd be working on bringing the boat back up or doing maintenance on it maybe, whatever. Whatever they do, I'm sure they do something with them. Although this is prior to Titanic days because the ship only has 16 lifeboats, so maybe they did just sit there. It's possible. After Titanic, Lusitania went up to several more lifeboats than what it had in the original configuration. That glue is just a little bit too wet. Come on. Okay, now he's standing there. And he's going to hold this rope. There we go. And then you take this little UV light and that dries the glue. Works extremely well for rigging. We'll be using this more once we put the mast on and rig the ship. But now, it should be dry. Yep, good and solid. All right, so now I got two more little guys that we're gonna put on there that are crewmen. So it kind of looks like Two or three people are working together on whatever they're doing. And this works out well because it is in a visible spot. So, get to demonstrate people and put extra detail on the ship at the same time. Ah, I pulled the guy up. I didn't have him glued down with uh, the UV glue. Rut row. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'll fix him a minute. Put him back. And there's a nice little puddle there, so I'm going to use a little CA glue to kind of help speed that along. Come on. Just doesn't want to come off the tweezer or the toothpick now. Uh, you gotta love glue. Okay, one more shot. There. Except he's crooked. There we go. 
Oh, we gotta reglue that. I bumped it. No big deal. Get our little pen. Dab. Okay, now I'll show kind of a close up. And, oops, there they are. You can kind of see what we got going on. So, be some people looking like they're doing some work. Lifeboats are where we want them. So, anyway, that's going to conclude uh, this edition. Our next video, because I'm not going to make a video of uh, me putting 16 lifeboats down like that. But our next video will probably be the Folkstall and the uh, and the aft decks, um, which will be the second class, uh, second class, not residence, but cabins and promenade. And uh, then after that, the next one will probably be rigging and um, we'll be just about done. So if this has been uh, informative, please make sure you give a subscribe and uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.